So, what's this rapid transformational therapy all about? Well, you'll be relieved to know it's not woo-woo, it's actually science. The brain is amazing and complex, so for the sake of simplicity, we'll break it into its three main parts. The conscious, subconscious and unconscious mind. Hypnosis itself is a natural state that happens to you on a daily basis. It's a trance-like state in which the subconscious is outwardly active. I like to call it the autopilot. For example, have you ever been driving and you arrive at your destination having no idea how you got there? Your conscious mind was focusing on what you were going to cook for dinner, the argument you had with your partner last night, the text message you read when you stopped at the lights and, oh my goodness, I need to collect the dry cleaning, etc. This is a form of hypnosis, when the subconscious mind actively takes over to help you out. It took care of the whole driving thing for you while you were busy thinking about other things. Your subconscious mind holds way more information than your conscious mind and hypnosis enhances our access to it. The unconscious mind is the vault in which everything we've ever learned or experienced is kept. This is the programming that creates our reality. We don't usually have access to our unconscious mind, given it's unconscious. Yet, in it lies every memory and every belief we hold that we are now unaware of. The good news is that sometimes our unconscious mind will share information with the subconscious, giving us access to it. And the really exciting part is that in hypnosis, the gateway between them is more open. To understand it more easily, let's imagine the mind like a computer. Your conscious thoughts are right there on the desktop. They sit there on the main screen. Your subconscious thoughts you can get to, but you'll have to dig into the files a little to find what you need. Your unconscious mind, however, is the programming way beneath the surface. It's the deepest part of the operating system, not accessible without the help of an expert who knows the shortcuts and how to get you into the system. And once you gain access, you'll again need the expert's help to make beneficial changes. The thing is, we update, reboot and upgrade the operating systems on our computers and devices all the time. But we don't do this with the most important operating system we'll ever use, our minds. Most of us are running our lives on inadequate, outdated, poorly functioning operating systems. Usually this system is created and hardwired in our childhood. The life we experience now is direct output from that old programming. And even if we want or believe something else now, the outcomes are set and they become our reality. When our computers and devices start to give us issues and stop offering us our desired results, we immediately look for ways to upgrade their systems. It's crazy that we don't do this with our minds. How old are you today? How old and outdated might your programming be? Do you need some help to find the blocks and bugs in your old programming? You deserve the freedom you'll find. And I'd love to help you discover it in a rapid transformational therapy session.